if a black dad shows up at the parent teacher conference with the mom, oh, it's a wrap. Oh, it's a wrap. From that point on, the teacher is going to put so much respect on that student's name because these teachers, most of them, not all of them, but most of these teachers expect that only the mom is involved in the kid's life and that the black dad is an absent dad. So the moment that the black dad shows up at the parent teacher conference, it's a wrap. Expect for your kid to be treated kindly. Expect for your kid to get extensions in their homework if they turn in things late. Expect for the teacher to put some respect on your kid's names, black parents, when the black dad shows up. Okay. Give it up one time for the show. Where they gon' shoot from the hill. I say two times for the house. Give us a moment to sip. It's not for the faint at heart. Cause they caught it like they see it. Give me a gunshot for the truth. Not always want it, but need it. Tune in week. Need to get some game from the Montoyas and Reese. Good for perspective, some commentary and a word from the street. Add some humor, some music talking. We done had our fun, but the show is never complete without mentioning black.com. Shout out to all the supporters, people who keep this afloat. Patiently waiting for that new show notification to post. If this your first time listening, take this move and just sit slow. And consider this your welcome to the Shoot from the Hip Show. And water time, my damies. Welcome to the Shoot from the Hip Show with your boy Montoyas and Reese. And we got a couple of homies in the house with us today. How about that, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 559-825-7468. That's 559-825-SHOT. That's how you call us and get it up off your chest. And while I'm going, I got a joke for y'all. Go ahead. All right, man. So this dude walks into an interview and he sits down. The interviewer says... What's your worst trait? The dude says, I'm brutally honest. And the interviewer said, That's not a bad trait. Dude said, I don't give a fuck what you think. He <laughs> <laughs> said, destroyed now. Watch out. All right. Be back. It's the Shoot from the Hip Show. D. My Toys. D. Reese. Uh, recurring guest, Layman. And a new guest, Troy. Hold up. Hold oh. up, big dog. Get, get, get the you mic get, to you. You got you to uh, speak in. You got to hear okay. yourself. Here I am. Here I am. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Appreciate, guys, appreciate you guys having me. T. Roy Hawk in the house. There you up. go. Hold up. The liveest nigga out of hour. Yeah. <laughs> All day. What have you not done? Ain't nothing I haven't. Okay. All right. Uh, club promoter, singer, a <laughs> radio show host. Uh, got drafted by the ML in the MLB. Yeah. Hold up, man. Yeah. Omega. Yeah. Yeah. Cigar guy. Yeah. Whiskey yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah, all that. Yeah, all that. All that. That's just halfway. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Well, and, shit, and, and we got Layman, man. We got special shout request to, to have you back on the show. Hey, man, yeah. shout out to Eric, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Eric. yeah. yeah. Like, show. man, you just had a boy in that march. So I said, why not? Yeah. Hey, I appreciate and I thought you were going to bring that poor man's pappy. God, we'll say that for next time. That's another reason that's to have you back. That's another reason to have me back. Man. Well, come on with it, big dog. Yeah, dog. I want to be back. But you did. Oh, okay. You did bring something. I'm not sipping on it yet. What you bring? At 1.30. All right, today we brought uh, the Old Force, the single barrel. Ooh. Right, WB Liquors pick. Sitting at 129.6. I went in and rounded up to 130. But, uh, <laughs> Respectively. Shit. It, it's hidden. It's hidden. Well, man, post up and pass that over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hidden. Oh, nigga, you aggressive with him. <laughs> oh, no. Nigga, pass that. All right, we back. Shoot from the hill one at gmail.com is the email. Uh, we got any breath home team? Yeah, we got two for sure. Okay. And a couple of possibles. Okay. I don't know what they Two are. and a P. Yeah. That'll work. Uh, we get the voicemails uh, out the way after the break. Uh, we back in the house. It's been a minute. A lot has transpired. And uh, at this point, I'm like, hey, man, it is what it is. I don't even be tripping no more. <laughs> because we just be busy, dog. <laughs> man, life be life, man. Yeah, plus, life, plus life. Plus, old ladies, man, they, they plan shit out for us. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Exactly. I, I was at a wedding yesterday. Oh, were you? All out of nowhere. Out of nowhere? I mean, the invitation came out of nowhere. I didn't see it till the next day. So they just said, before. you want to get married? No. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, your wife showed it to you? Yeah. Because, you know, people do that. They'll start fucking, and the fucking pussy is good. <laughs> oh, man, we got to get married. I ain't never had no pussy like this before in my life. Yeah. And they want to get married. And that's you know? the only time when a man decides he wants to be in a relationship, but ain't never. He tell you he want to be in one, he lying. Oh, well. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, he tell well. you he want to be in one, he lying. He only know when he pussy with. Yeah, so I'm pussy whip. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
Well, we all are there. Yeah, well, I take it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so how was the wedding? Man, it was a South Park wedding. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, South Side was holding. Was it? Yeah. Okay, open bar? Yeah, but we didn't get to that part. Why? Y'all left? Yeah, man, because the seating was uh was was not right. Standing room only? No, man. I mean, it had tables. Each table had a name on it. Oh, that sucks. It had all all the, all the, the hoods, the blocks. Oh, really? It had a whole city table. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> All that. But our table was the South Side holding table. But you, well, yeah. But, but I see they don't know me for most. Okay. So either way, our table wasn't set up. And while they was trying to get that figured out, I found this little dive bar. You left the wedding? I left the wedding, dog. I went to the bar, sat down there. I got a double shot of makers for 10 bucks. And she didn't, she didn't uh, measure that shit out. Mm. She, just, mm. she shot that bitch from the hip. And nigga. Yeah, I was good. Did you ever go that. back to the wedding? Yeah, I went back. Okay, I went back straight. <laughs> okay, <laughs> around here. All right. Uh, uh, you had a wedding to go to. Yeah, that's all you did this weekend. No, no black rodeo went for y'all. I went on. Y'all getting Friday the mic. night. Y'all getting get the mic. That mic closer to you. I went Friday night to the to the cook off. Uh, but I got my- some videos on my phone. These chicks was out here. <laughs> They was line dancing, yeah, line dancing. With tight pants and hats, and boots. Mm-hmm. It was thick. Yeah, it was thick. Oh, so, that's a double entendre. You know, I was yeah. at a. <laughs> <laughs> I was Woo. at a white tent. One of my suppliers invited me out, but next to it, it was a uh, Urban Social's tent. Oh, really? They were selling barbecue plates. Okay. So that, that thing was jammed out. Look like uh, look like Davenport's. Oh really? Oh man, standing Ooh. room only. Oh yeah, I'm like yeah, I wouldn't want to be in that crowd. It's too crowded. No, that's how you bump into something. Yeah, well, literally, yeah. <laughs> <Big time. laughs> literally. Yeah, yeah, man. So, but man, I seen so many videos of people having a good time. Beyonce brought them out. Oh, oh, she, you know what she did? I, you know, I just listened to that song. Uh, she got two. One of them. Texas Hold'em. Texas, Texas Hold'em. I was, I thought it was a full length album. Yeah, I did too. Oh well, it's not. No, no, I mean, just it's two, two songs. Two songs. No, nah, it's supposed to be a whole album. Those are just the first two that dropped. Okay, you sure about see? that? All right, I may be wrong because I was wrong well, about the whole goddamn uh, <laughs> Andre three three stacks yeah. and his shit. So yeah. I thought it was supposed to be a whole album. I thought I, that's that's the assumption most people have. But she said she was bringing out a, a country album. Well, maybe. No. it... it but only two out right now. Only nah, two nah, out nah, right nah. now. They, they, they're they're singles. Just drop. They're singles. Yeah, they're, yeah that, like most people, you before you drop an album, you're gonna drop a single or two. Well, okay, maybe there's more to come. I don't know. I, what, you, what you think about the song? I thought it, it, it. I think it works. I think it's cool. I think uh, the traditional redneck white folks they were mad at it, mm-hmm, but yeah. it's a little up tempo, a little party anthem. Yeah, and country has that. Yeah, they got their songs that get them white girls loose. All right. You know? All right. So I can fuck with it. Shit. Old boy I, that played the original Dukes of Hazard, that boy spoke out about it. Yeah, he was hot old John Schneider. Yeah, yeah, John Every Schneider. time as a as an adult, when I look at the Confederate flag and shit like that, it makes me wonder, like, why I watch that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we, most, didn't know no we didn't know, we didn't know any better. better. Yeah, we didn't know nah. what that meant back then. Man, my mom should have knew. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> parents did, and they went out and bought me the little riding had, car. Yeah, I, 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 I had the big I, wheel. I had, yeah. the, I had the uh, the ten hard lunch kit. A lunch kit. Yeah. I had one of them. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Dad, that's crazy, dog. Yeah, had you had a Confederate on. lunch box. Well, the Duke, the General Lee was on it. But the whole flag wasn't painted on it. Damn, that's crazy. All right, uh, move along here and shoot from him show. Uh, it was been a while, so we're gonna go back way back mm-hmm. to the uh, Super Bowl. Okay, shit, uh, we so go back before then, what did we miss? Shit, I'm gonna go and give you your props. You was right about Lamar Jackson. Oh, thank I'm not you. gonna, I'm hey, not hey, gonna knock you. Hey, hey, we sat here, we and talked we was about bad. it. We was mad at we was you. Mad. Yeah, mad at me. I we told you, man, that man is not a quarterback, he's an Wait. athlete. Ah. You know how you in, in recruiting, they don't have a position, so you, you know, they're athletes, just athlete. He's an athlete, he's not a quarterback. I don't know if that's a fair assessment. Y'all get in the mic. I don't know if that's a fair assessment. He had a bad game. He he does he that a lot in the playoffs. Have a bad game. He does that a lot in the playoffs. So did Romo. Nobody question whether he now, was Romo not in the league no more. Well, that he has a, a horrible playoff appearance every time he step on the field. They don't but, question but, his quarterback. But C D Lamb led the league in receptions this year. C D Lamb led the league in reception and that threw in the ball. 
a receiver would never lead the league in receptions or yards when you play with Lamar Jackson. How many of those catches are uh, five yards, seven yards? See, they? No, nah, yeah. that throws the ball down the field. It don't matter whether it's a five or six yard. I mean, he, yeah, well, it does matter. No, nah, at the end of the day, when it says 70 yard touchdown pass, whether you threw it five yards and he took it 65 more yards. Yeah, we're tacking yak versus oh, a quarterback throwing you the gotta ball. You got to put your receiver in a position to get yak, too. Hey, for the, for the layman out here, what is yak? Yards, yards after, after catch. catch. I mean, I knew that, you know, just fucking around. Yards after catch. Yeah. So you, you, are you, you, you say he's a good quarterback, is what you're saying? No. Okay. I'm not saying oh, that. Okay. Come on, Stan. I'm not business. saying that. No. Not at all. Because he's not. He's I think proven. he's a good no. quarterback. He's proven. He's not. He's, he's decent. No. He'll get you to the playoffs. He'll do that. And then he'll go on vacation. There you go. I need to come up with a gone fishing for him. Man, that was just <laughs> bad play calling. And it, it's how do you, always somebody else's fault. I don't, he, okay. he ain't got no receivers or they didn't coach him right. Against the Texans, the motherfucker ran like 10 to 15 times. He didn't run and, much. In and they game. were called, they were designed yeah. run pass, I mean run plays for him. He ran twice. He ran, they had it two was, It was nut run. cutting time. It, it got tighter. Well, if it's nut cutting time, the motherfucker that brought you here and the way they way he brought you there, that's what you should have been calling. You can't ask the man to stand back there in the pocket and just shuffle him oh, around. Oh, to be a quarterback. No, no, be no, his no, kind no. of quarterback. Be his kind of quarterback. Hey. It, he ain't on, got man. it, man. He ain't got it. Now, it, he might slide through the cracks one year and make it there. But on uh more out of more nine times out of ten, uh, like most running quarterbacks. They gonna get figured out and they'll lock him up. So let me ask you: Is because ain't Josh none of these Allen, guys won? Is, is Josh Allen a good quarterback? He's a better passer of the ball than uh yeah, he than Lamar Jackson. Post. No, I'm not. <laughs> you moved it. Shit. You just did it. You you you, 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 you <laughs> never seen him throw strikes down the field? I seen that motherfucker throw strikes that turn into interceptions. He down does. The field. Throw, he, he that's that's part of his game. That's part of his game. But his the biggest part of his game is does, does running. He, does he not get uh, Diggs the ball? He's one no, he does not because Diggs is about to be on his way out he because wants to leave. they don't get the ball. Man, he he doesn't get the he, ball enough. He's a diva receiver. He's a he game changer. He's what, he's what, uh, what they call the game changer because he'll take, he'll take the chance to, to, to change the outcome of a game versus managing because he's not going to stay within his set. He's going to push it out that set and try to make something happen instead of just taking what the defense gives you. And that's why, you know, and it, and oftentimes it, it works in his favor. Yeah. Uh, but in the most detrimental times of the game, it hasn't. I take, I would take Josh Allen over uh, Lamar Jackson. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't agree. I don't you know niggas got it. It's just a color thing with you. No. <laughs> no. He's a better pass of the ball. <laughs> He's a color thing. That's what it is. Uh, all right. Uh, so, anyway, moving past that game, thanks for giving my props. I, I did give you. Uh, we watched the Super Bowl. Uh, the day started off great, uh, but man, it got real windy. Yeah, and we was watching it outside, and it was rough, man. Mm. When I tell you, man, I was irritated because you want to smoke good sticks. On Super not with Bowl, that so. wind whipping. Nah, around. not with that wind. <laughs> but we went to my boy crib, and man, we ate some good ass gum. But that shit was good in the motherfucker. Yeah, he can vouch. He had his own pot. I had my own pot. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Must be nice. That's all yeah, right. It that's, was fire, that's, that's good Super Bowl uh, food right there. Yeah, yeah. It was. Had and, that uh, Kanika sausage in there. Oh, that Uh-oh. shit was good. Say, and who, and who sausage? Kanika. Kanika. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had the nigga sausage. I had, yeah, I had, to, I had to emphasize the <laughs> Kanika. Yeah, I had to clarify. <laughs> yeah. I eat nigga sausage, too. Nigga <laughs> sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, come over here on the fly. I, he know not to get on my putting green. I keep telling him that. Well, come on, man. No, nah, I know. Come on, my you ass. Show off for, for company. Man. I'm not showing off for company. <laughs> oh, so what you think about the overall of the, of the Super Bowl? I thought it was a. I, I thought it was one of the. Well, you could keep saying that if a good one come, mm-hmm. but it, it lived up to the hype. It was an awesome game. It was a good game. Uh, you know, and I'm I picked Mahomes to win. Is he, he is he a good quarterback? He's an awesome quarterback. Okay. Yeah, he he because he had white. I don't that that might have something to do with it. <laughs> see, see. Can you can't help? No. Nah, yeah, help. he white. You see how he run? Yeah. He can't run. Oh, he, he got he a little enough. Nah, he 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 get he's elusive. He run like a fucking that nigga run like he whack. Like he ain't got no athleticism. 
I don't know. You could be kind of skating and sliding and skipping. But that's athleticism, that's, dog. No, nah, nigga. Uh-uh. That ain't. He, he what ain't. you want him to do? Run like he black? Look like he black? Uh, okay. Oh, but then if they do that, then they, he turn into then Lamar, he Lamar Jackson. Jackson. Well, I'm just saying. He run a <laughs> little See, see how he circle, man? Cognitive no, distance, no, dog. No, you do it all no, the time. No. Uh, but anyway, what's your thoughts on the Super Bowl, Troy? Lame, what's your thoughts on the Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> As a uh, offensive coach, I thought it was a great defensive scheme to game in the first half. And then as, you know, things got down to nut cutting time, as we said before, well, the Chiefs knew what the overtime rules apparently were and fucking 49ers didn't. Mm -hmm. And that comes back to, like, right now as they go through or start um, spring training and going through OTAs and all that, that shit needs to be talked about. One team did it. One team didn't. You always, always kick the ball off or take the ball second in overtime, and mm. Kyle Shanahan made the wrong play. Now, what you think, though, Troy? So they talk a lot about making adjustments. You still um, got to get closer, man. They talk a lot hey, about making adjustments in a football game. Um, you know, at, at the start of the game, Kansas City really didn't have an answer for San Francisco's offense. They made some adjustments, and then at that point – 49ers inexistent offensively, mm-hmm. but you know defensively they both came to play ball. They, it was a good, good uh, defensive struggle on both sides. What you think, home team? I mean, y'all said it. Nigga, talk. <laughs> <laughs> Where you watch the this game shit at? at the old man house? Okay, How I, you know me, man. The shit felt felt staged to me, man. Really, it did. All oh, it's the perfect story. Come down to overtime. Neither one can figure each other out. That's true. Right, come on, man. Did my home get I, it? I in. said, and, and with, with uh, what's the girl? Kelsey's Taylor, Taylor, oh, Swift. Taylor Swift. With her in there? Come on, man. KC was getting that. <laughs> <laughs> come on, dog. Stop it. Well, there's a little bit of that. Yeah. It, it, you know, that's justifiable to think that way right. in the world that we live in. I think the game changed when uh, Greenlaw went out, when he oh, tore yeah. his uh, Achilles. I think that really hurt. Fucking San Francisco, and once that hurt them, not having that extra leadership and uh, experienced linebacker, fucking all of a sudden I see Pacheco just sliding through on the inside zone and running mm-hmm. the muck against their ass. Pacheco a beast. Oh yeah, he, is. Yeah, he run hard down here. He from Iowa. He could have been. Oh, okay. <laughs> he could have been. That Maybe his daddy is. Yeah, I think you know. I think he I went to high mistake. school with him. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, you think Shanahan should be should come back? I think he should. I also, I dislike the way he did uh, Willis, uh, the the defense coordinator. Yeah. Oh, you talking about uh, 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 Steve, Steve Wilkes? Wilkes, mm-hmm. Wilkes, sweet. Yeah. Wilkes, excuse me. Um, scapegoat. Scapegoat. Straight scapegoat. Big time. When if it, <laughs> if it wasn't for the D, they wouldn't been there in the first place. They wouldn't have been there in the Look first at that. place. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you bring in this sorry motherfucker that's been coaching the Chargers for the last four or five years and ain't did shit. Who? Um, their yeah. former head coach. He's a defensive guy. I thought he was an offensive guy. I thought he was too, but apparently he's coming in to coach defense. Okay, well, hey, and that's that. That's that brotherhood. That's that. Yeah, that's that something. It's yeah. that privilege. All right, uh, me and my Uncle James, we started our tournament again. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm one up. And uh, did I, you jump out on him or did you walk him down? I walked. He he, he shot his water. Shot his water again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh man! I was down by nine at the turn, Ooh. going in the tenth hole, and I came all the way back and won by like two or three strokes. I man. witnessed it. Oh, oh you yeah? was there on the scorecard. Oh, okay, oh, man, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. E Mays was there. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I won up, and uh, it feels good. Yeah. So, yeah. so what's, what are y'all? How many games y'all playing? Four out of seven. Okay. Yeah. Typically, now he's been up on me three one twice. He just and can't, I, just can't finish it, huh? Yeah. Damn, Damn, Uncle Jay. I'm, I'm rooting for you, man. Backlight. Backlight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. But yeah, uh, yeah. It was it was a man, that was a good ass round, man. I worked my ass off in that round. My pudding was solid. What's the what's the prize? A bottle of whiskey. Hundred dollar bottle of whiskey. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. who you got the Garrison Brothers. Yeah. From mm-hmm. that time. Then he bought me the twice. twice. Garrison Brothers. 
that single barrel, and then that okay, honeydew. And, honeydew. and I feel like I beat him a third time. I feel like we've done this three times, maybe twice. I can't remember. I think we done it three times, man. I'm, I'm not sure. Home team, what else you got going on? Oh, man. Like just, oh, man, I went and saw that uh, a hip-hop story with Atheon Crockett. It's a, you went to the theater? I went to the theater. What made you do that? Because I saw an interview, and I was jazzed up to go. Breakfast Club? No, no, uh, Sway. Okay. And I said, man, that sounds dope. I saw like a mini trailer. I was like, man, I can see it. I can see it working. But it <laughs> didn't work. Man. Really? No, not for me anyway. You wouldn't recommend it? It was almost there, man. Every Everything was, was it almost a, right. Was it a fictional story? Or was it was it? kind of a fictional story, man. It was just like bring the old shit back, this new shit whack, and he's playing all these different rappers. And uh, mm. Man, it, it had to promise. So it was sketch comedy and a movie or something? Nah, I wouldn't say sketch comedy. It was an actual comedy. He just he did like Eddie Murphy did with the clumps and all. We played all the play, played all all I've seen him do that in his little skits and stuff. Well, he did it the whole movie. And it's terrible. And I'm not going to call it terrible. If you're a hip-hop purist, you're going to enjoy it a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. But uh, it just, man, I was falling asleep in there. Partially because I was tired, but... The other part, because man, it just wasn't, asleep in the movie. wasn't grabbing me, man. Maybe I need to give it a second shot. Man, y'all, y'all go check it out and see what you think. I'll, I'll check it out on fire stick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is what you need to do. Anytime you go to the movies, go to the liquor store, get some airplane shots. I'm going to definitely fall asleep then. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I'm just telling I'm you. I'm not going to go in there and. Yeah, he'd be halfway zooted and then enjoying it. <laughs> so, uh, updates on your coaching? Shit, since the last time I talked to you boys, man, um, all of a sudden we get a our offense coordinator. <laughs> he resigns. Really? Yeah. Four stop. Force could be force. You don't nobody's know. Nobody's not. Nobody's talking about him. You think you up next? He beat you out for the job, right? Yeah, he did last okay. year. Okay. And then um who knows? The the head coach ain't saying much about it. Nobody in the office has talked about the resignation. So where 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 did he did he have any is he you know where he went? Did he go anywhere else? No. Um I don't think he's gonna get picked up anytime soon. Really? Because of the recruiting. You you can't recruit in high school, mm -hmm. and he put it out there on Twitter recruiting a player. Also, he violated some he, UIL yeah, stuff. Yeah, he okay. violated UIL, so they had to get him gone. So he's gonna use NIL, but the UIL <laughs> said no. UIL said no. Oh, okay, damn. Right. So um, so you kind of like I sitting there waiting, sitting like, there man, waiting, shit. licking what? your chops, <laughs> licking my chops. Hey, I'm supposed to go to an interview tomorrow at Elkins. They finally called me back. Oh, really? Yeah. And so. Uh, Go over to the Elkins and use that as a platform to say, hey, these motherfuckers want me. Hey. I'm out. You ain't got nobody What's else. What's the name of they, they, the crib, They too. talking dollars over there. Yeah. What y'all going to do? Yeah. Child closer to do. the crib. Yeah. Yeah, very much closer. Save money on gas. That's, that's a whole paycheck That's in a big deal. That's a paycheck in itself. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what you got going on, Troy? Tell Man, us something good. Tell us something good. Let's see. Um... Been loading up on them cigars again. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got to keep those up to par. Uh, right now, man, I spend a lot of time um, just trying to get my golf game better. Yeah. Um, it's a personal challenge for me. I want to, you know, I'm as a former athlete, I guess you still call me an athlete since I played golf, but as a, as a lifelong athlete, you always try to be the best at your craft and you push yourself to get uh, – over you know you set goals and you want to you want to meet those but you also you don't want to lose either yeah so, you know my competitive nature is still there uh, i'm doing things like an athlete's supposed to do to get better i'm working out i'm losing weight I'm getting fit building my endurance because golf if you haven't played it and you don't know it regardless of how it looks it wears your ass out 18 rounds of golf well, where your and that ass summer is coming? Out, summer coming. They need to stop. They need to chop that shit to nine and, and just cut the bullshit. <laughs> no, come on, man. You don't get going to nine. I know. I get. I get to going home after nine. <laughs> <laughs> no. What y'all think about Tiger last week? Typical. Typical. Yeah. He goes out there, fucks. Well, Dak Prescott. He wasn't doing too bad. <laughs> 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 they came. I, I believe instead of saying it's a typical back. They said flu like it's symptoms, a, yeah. so it wouldn't be the same. Or here he go again. But I, and ultimately, it was here. Here we go again. Yeah. 
So he found some shit and he shit. wanted out. I had flu like him the other day. I hit a couple, shanked a couple balls. I was sicker than a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, talk about health. So uh, I have two doctors. Okay. I, I do the VA and I do my regular doctor. Uh, now I'm taking cholesterol and the doctor said I'm pre diabetic. Okay. Yeah. So that's a new condition. <laughs> yeah. More pills. <laughs> okay. Now, now, what are the what are the symptoms of being pre diabetic? Well, you know, diabetic man, you you know, you start uh losing limbs and shit, and our eyesight goes away. What causes what causes blood. that? Blood sugar, mm. which I don't feel like I eat a lot of sweet stuff, but apparently I eat enough, yeah. and I need to lose weight. So, uh, pre or oh, alcohol, but yeah, yeah, alcohol. Uh, yeah. So I know I need to cut back. You sure? Yeah, definitely. Oh man, this is perfect. I'm glad we're talking about this. But anyway, uh, I'm working. I've started uh, running more putting. So I, what I used to do, I would do 45 minutes of motherfucking move shit around that motherfucker. Yeah. Now I cut that down to 30. At 30, I stop and the rest is cardio. Okay. There you so I've been go. picking back up on my cardio. So you follow me on on, on the Apple activities, you can see it. That I'm I'm out here getting busy. Yeah. Yeah, because if you you gotta have a mix. Because if you're just doing cardio. And you're not lifting any type of weight or doing something that stimulate the muscles. You're gonna lose muscle before you start losing fat. So yeah. you kind of got to do a blend of it to lose. Okay. Yeah, because okay, you sorry. you attack fat faster, you know, by lifting and working muscle alongside the cardio. You just do cardio, you lose the muscle. Okay. Mm. All right. First. Look at that. All right. Top, but it, it, health tips. Yeah. On the uh, shoot from the show. What's that? So I call. Home team the other day, yeah. and I said, uh, <laughs> "Hey man, what, what's going on?" Yeah, I, and I, I think I talked to you the day before, and I, I you was like, "Man, I was trying to see what you was doing. You wanted to record, and I don't know what what we was doing that day, but you was fucked up, and I can hear it in your voice." Yeah, I was out of there. You was at the old man house. Mm-hmm. You said, "Man, I don't know. I might stay over here tonight." Yeah, I, you must have blacked out because. You went home. I went home the next day. The next day. Yeah. But I called you. Yeah. And when you woke up, it felt like a, you missed a whole day. Yeah, I did. Damn. I didn't miss a whole day. No. But I went to sleep nigga. and you woke me up with the call. So I, I woke was still, you up. I was still in a fog. So you don't, rem- but you didn't remember going from your daddy house to your house. I remember that call and I remember how, how crazy I sounded. You sound the cross. I said, I, I, t- I said, dog, uh-uh. <laughs> I said, you being serious? I forgot what dad was, man. I said, no, nah, you know what? You tripping. Let me go and get out the phone. I don't sleep I in hung the up the phone. Like I, think, I said, this nigga got a problem. I was out of there, man. But I, 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 I knew, I knew it when I talked to you the night before. You was all oh, nigga. You was amped the fuck up. You was in the old man garage. Yeah. And the next thing I know, you woke up in your garage. Yeah, well, that's the next day. You know, I slept and I went went over there, went back to the so north. You don't side. know how you got home. Yes, I do, man. I was, no, you don't. Okay. Nigga, when I when I called you, you were like, wait a minute. Dog, and do you, you was have, really do you have to- all your faculties right when you wake up? <clears throat> Are you just Johnny on the spot as soon as you open your eyes? <laughs> I don't forget a day. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't forget the day either. I just remember that conversation. I was okay, off. about an eight hour time span. Yeah, about eight hours. I was off. Shit. Ooh, I was off, man. Shit. I had to sleep it off. And then you woke me up out of that shit. And you like, wait. I need one of them. Wait. Uh, hey, it was good. Wait a minute, dog. No, nigga. I said, dog. <laughs> imagine, I'm like, man. Let me, hey. Imagine having one of them nights and have to get up at five and drive into work. Oh, no. <laughs> I just ain't going to make it that day. That's crazy. Yeah, Many a night. I, I was like, dog, you this nigga. I called B. I said, this nigga over here tripping. <laughs> <laughs> when I hung up the phone, I was like, man, what the hell? I, what did I just say? <laughs> I heard myself. I read it through. I was like, man, I was I was tripping. Drink a choice that night. Uh 1792. Oh, damn, the key bottle. No, no, that's the bourbon. Oh, the, the bourbon one. Okay, okay. I damn that bottle bottle over. I should have. I was about to bring them. See, that shit's so smooth, dog. You should have brought a lot of shit, dog. I should have brought a lot of shit. If you reminded me, uh, uh-uh. uh, I wasn't gonna remind. No, nah, man, you gotta remind me because I, my mind was on. Let me get the fuck out of here before the wife get home. <laughs> so, <All right. laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what else you got going on, home team? 
No, that's it. No, that's really? It. All right, so. See how you going to take this. So you, the other, you've been putting videos up. Yeah. And I know your deal is uh, them clips go, and the clips do go. Yeah. And I was thinking about taking put them in story form because I think that's like a thing now. Yeah, it is. But I actually put the whole show up. Yeah. You didn't put the whole show up. I didn't up. get around to it, man. So that's what it was, time? Yeah. Okay. I'll take that better because I know you in the BYT, y'all got a bad habit of saying yeah, but in the back of y'all mind, y'all be like, man, fuck what this nigga talking about. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, if you ain't going to put the whole show out, send it to me unedited. I want to watch the whole show. Okay. Because I also like to do corrections on, on kind of like. Yeah. I got you. Know you know what I'm saying? So, if you won't be like, fuck me, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. Oh, no, man. I have every every intention on doing that. Yeah. Well, and just sometimes you fall asleep and miss a day. See? <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> no, though, later went out of town, so it was just me in the bar. <laughs> so, yeah, they got that. that put, put so, when she came back, it's why she never left. Did you miss the day? <laughs> <laughs> she gonna run this to the ground, dog. Hey, de- hey dead horse. Dead horse says, stop kicking it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is the Shoot the Hip Show. Uh, you wanna be part of the show, you can give us a call at 559 825 Shot. Uh, we're gonna take a break. We got. A lot going on. We got a lot of people in here. So we're going to take a break. I got to take some stuff off the pit, and then we'll come right back with some news. Damn. I don't know why niggas chase pussy no more. Pussy ain't even the same. Pussy lost its value when it lost its smell. Tell me I'm lying. Motherfucker, motherfucker don't even keep pussy on the lip no more. You used to be able to eat some pussy, and it'd be on there for at least two hours. You could smell it. Ooh, Keisha had some funky ass pussy, did she? <laughs> I love Keisha. Mmm, Keisha. Lick it and reactivate it like some cocaine in your nose. Put a little water. Bang. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Snip your lip. That day. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Where you find that, though? World Wide Web. Instagram. Oh, smut-ass instant internet you got, man. Man, I got regular Instagram. I got, I got Instagram that regular niggas got. Just a grouchy old nigga. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but you a sneaky nigga. I don't know what you mean. Old nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just don't talk about your shit. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're getting at, dog. Hey. Hey. I don't think I'm that sneaky. I think so. Okay. Yeah. All that kind of money. Yeah, I don't know what you allude to, but I, I, I'm not, I'm not uh, accepting that. Yeah, I know. Nah. Uh, you know what? This is fucked up. Anyway, I think we got off. We, we mentioned something I already had uh, uh, in the show notes. However, we back talking news here on the Shoot from the Hip Show. Uh, we talked about the Super Bowl, and I had that as a lead in on the news. But, you know, whatever. Let's go back to the Super Bowl All right. uh, real quick. What we missed? Usher. Well, we did miss Usher, but we also missed – uh, Kelsey bumped his coach. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh. And uh, mm-hmm. oh. you know, if he, if he was he, black. He's he, just competitive, He's just competitive. That's all that is. If it was T.O. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, 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 Keyshawn Johnson. Yeah. Um, oh, well, what about old boy I used to play for Denver that got shot that was from Dallas? Shot. The one that his brother shot somebody for real. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. To leave. Oh, oh, to to leave. leave. Yeah. Yeah. He's a big old super yeah. thug. Yeah. Antonio Brown. Yeah. Oh. Well, that yeah. old. Hey, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I feel like he should get suspended two to three games for yeah, next yeah. season. That is. That is. That, By who? That I didn't say what girl's I boyfriend. feel. I didn't say what's going to happen. By who, though? That's Taylor Swift. The man. organization. The NFL. Not going to do it. Not Why not? Taylor Swift sweat, slapped Belichick after the game. Belichick? Yeah, she slapped him. Taylor Swift? Yeah. You didn't hear Am about that? No, I didn't catch that one. No, I'm just lying. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, hold Belichick, up. Was he well, them two can do Swift anything. <laughs> them two uh, get away with everything right now. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, also, at the at the Chiefs parade, there was a shooting, I guess, between two juveniles. 
Yeah. They shot each other. They killed a popular Latina DJ. Yeah. In the melee. Damn. I'm thinking. I know he's creeping I'm that thinking, hard in I don't know. City. I mean, out of the just randomly, like a public figure gets shot and killed in a you know a widespread event like that, it tends to make me think that she might have been targeted. Come on now, hey, yeah, that's okay. the side of the table I'm on right there. Nah, I think the bullet would just strike. No, she, that's final there's destination. Too many people dog. Out there. She had it coming. <laughs> she had it coming. There's too many people out there, man. She too. just got she. she she won the lottery that day. I she don't want to win that one. Twelve damn kids <laughs> got shot. She got oh 12. no no twelve kids got injured in the middle of all yeah. this. Yeah, they got That's injured cool. by getting run over or by shot, getting shot. Some of them with shot uh, shot wounds, others with just being trampled. Some of them lying. They want to just carry that shot wound like they was in some gangster <laughs> shit. <laughs> Hey man, you might get a go fund me going. Hey teenagers, see nigga, I've been shot, nigga. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what they doing. Hey, speaking of kids. Uh, Madison High School, they staged oh, a walkout. Mm-hmm. Now, it's said to be over the cell phone policy, uh, but the student said, no, nah, it's not just that. It's been a long time coming. Uh, along with multiple fights, they say they don't feel safe at the school uh, with the cell phones being taken up. One student said, there's a shooting. How am I going to call my mama? Uh, the students said they've been treated like prisoners. And uh, they said, you know, they I guess they do a pat down, and if that they they do daily pat downs when they walk into school to see if they have a phone. If that's the case, we all did four years of prison. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm thinking. We didn't have no goddamn phones in school. Yeah, didn't need one. Mm-mm. Yeah, call my mama. How about you just leave? What's your mama gonna do? Yeah, What's your mama she gonna, gonna come and get, get shot and get <laughs> shot too. <laughs> she gonna come get shot. Yeah, no. Well, it was over the cell phones, man. Yeah, that's what it was. These kids ball, man. That's all that is. Yeah, well, go ahead, do you creek rock boys, Chris Rock? No, no. No, you go ahead. It ain't there. Oh, really? I don't have it right now. <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you what. Come on, It's sir. some of the most ignorant yeah. nigga shit I've ever seen in my motherfucking life. Students walking out? Yeah. Bitch, everybody fail. Get the name. Y'all all fail. Fuck all that. Know. We ain't playing this shit. Mm-mm. Fuck nah. all that. What the fuck you mean you walking out? When do you, you think my kid can walk out because they don't want no rules given? Man, you got That's me the fucked problem up. With the United Get these States. motherfuckers up out of here. It's an entitlement culture, and they allow people to be entitled. And they entertain entitlement. You walk your ass around my way with that entitlement. I'm entitled you to some straight up 100 percent that yeah. you ain't gonna like. Hey, I lock the door. Can't come back. Find somewhere else to go. That's it. Get him gone. So one one uh, career field that he didn't mention in the beginning. I was an assistant principal, and I was kind of like Joe Brown right now. <laughs> so <laughs> okay, and motherfuckers get out of hand. I had found me a little room in the basement of the school. Uh huh. Set some desks up down there. That was in school suspension. You say it, you sat down in my seats around there and you got in trouble. <laughs> if I hear a chair squeak, you going home to your mama and you can't come back up in here until your mama, your dad bring you back here to talk to me. Because if you're going to inconvenience me on my job, I'm going to inconvenience them on theirs. Expedition. And it was quiet as hell in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now they not. This is not the first time Madison's made the news for some of the dumb shit that going on that motherfucker. Shout Remember, out to Arm Clark. Yeah, they were mad because the principal she had a policy that you couldn't come up there with bonnets and pajamas. Oh and yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. So this yeah. dumb shit be going on forever in that area. Ever. Yeah, you got to set standards, man. But they're bucking the system. They don't. They don't, they don't want to. They they don't want rules. Uh, they don't want to be regular. They don't want to be set up for uh to to be better. They want. They they just they setting themselves up for failure, you they know. Come. And the way the news would portray it, they would portray the administration or the school district as the bad people, you yeah. know, by letting the kids get on the news. <laughs> they let the kids you don't be let the, the kids. Remember, they came out this policy when somebody jumps the fence, run on the field. Don't film it. They want the shine. Right. Don't put no cameras in their face like they're a hero. You ain't right. no motherfucking hero. You 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 going against the grain, and you a fucking child. Let's not forget that. A child. A child. Get the care. fuck out of here, man. I think it goes back to the former leaders, black leadership in, in America today. The black leadership oftentimes hold a mic in their hand. Uneducated and, and, and talk a bunch of bullshit. That's our leadership today. Because mm-hmm. that's what's influencing society. That's what's influencing 
the way, you know, and I mean, I can't even say kids because you got grown ass 40, 50 year old men and women alike being raised by 20 year old niggas with a mic in their hand. Yeah. And we going backwards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah we we def- got the def- kids def- raising the fucking adults. Definitely going backwards. Uh, I'm telling you, I, when I saw them, them on school, like they were heroes or some shit. And you don't get, they don't interview the administration. They just interview the kids. Wow. So the wrong person is going to be like, why are they doing it to them? Excuse, yeah. excuse my ignorance. Where is Madison? Is it in the that area? Is, it's not far. It's uh, right up the street at Heron Clark. If you oh. get on the Fort Bend Toll, you exit Hillcroft or Post Oak. So, yeah, you can. Yeah, it, it's, it's in the ways. area. Or you can go up Alameda from here up Alameda. and then make a left on what is it? Or on Storm, storm. Mm, yeah. yeah. I finna say East Storm. <laughs> That's a street now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh moving along here. Uh Trump was fined three hundred and fifty million dollars uh in the civil court. Uh a hundred million in fines. The judge in New York uh handed down to him. Uh say he falsif- he lied and falsified about his wealth. Uh that he also said his sons cannot run companies in New York, neither can he. Um he didn't answer his questions properly while on the stand. He dodged everything. He yeah. trunk has he ever <laughs> <laughs> committed years of business fraud to inflate his the wealth of the Trump enterprise. Uh, immediately after, well, immediately after that, he also released his uh, gold sneakers at the sneaker oh, summit, man. sneaker con. Oh, oh man, man. Air Trumps. Oh, Here we go with <laughs> that, man. Hey, we but, love sneakers. Yeah, that's what that. <laughs> Oh, there was a video that I saw. Yeah, we yeah, said that was a Fox great News. ploy. Yeah, you yeah, saw that? I saw it. Uh, but the $350 million, uh, if he doesn't pay it, he's supposed to be in big trouble, man. I, he might not be able to skate on this one. Now, you believe they're not going to get it. They ain't going to never get Trump. He's been doing this shit for forever. Yeah, ain't forever, nothing new. Ever. So here's the thing. The man's an ex-president. Even if he deserved to go to prison, he'll never go to prison. I'm going to tell you why. Because... Secret Service can't go to prison with them. Now they got Secret Service mm-hmm. to provide. They got Secret Service to provide two, two functions. One is to protect his ass the rest of his life, and the other two is keep eyes on this motherfucker the rest of his life too, because he still got access to secrets and mm-hmm. and and all kinds of information. So that's a two part fold that the Secret Service hold when they follow the ex president to keep an eye on him and to protect him. Mm-hmm. But if he goes to prison, Secret Service ain't gonna. Be in there every day, all day. So, so they just he's just not gonna go to prison for that that fact. Uh, damn. You, what do they call that when you don't listen to the judge? You can go to jail for uh, regular people with just, contempt. Contempt, yeah. 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 <clears throat> so no contempt for Trump. No. Nah. If he don't pay his fines, they gone. need to do that. These fines collect interest too. They say they need to do that. So they need to do that motherfucker like they like old boy did over there on uh, narco. Build his own prison and keep <laughs> and keep that motherfucker in it. That's yeah, I remember that. Man. I remember yeah. that. Them motherfuckers in that chilling. Yeah. yeah, and let him have. Let him, in there, yeah, let him yeah. do what he gonna do in there, but keep his ass away from out here. Yeah, for for twenty years. I still t- the one thing I understand is at, at that age, why would you want to put yourself and your family through all of this? I w- here's what I believe he's trying to do. I believe he wants to change America. He wants to be like the UK. Or like Cuba, and not necessarily a communist uh, regime, but he wants to be like the king, dictator. A di- he wants to be the king and a dictator, a oligarchy. Yeah, he that's what he wants to be, and he he wants his he he wants the same like Prince Charles and all of them. He wants his kids to have like Baron. He wants Baron probably to be the next mm-hmm. upcoming king per se. Uh, that's what he, I think. That's what he wants for his legacy. Sound good. I don't think I, he's, he's he is a narcissistic dude, Barry. but uh. If he if that's what he's going for, he ain't gonna get that. I mean, he it's, it's too many people don't like well, it. If he if, if he let's just say he wins presidency again, he uh, he's going up. You best believe you not that motherfucker gonna be like, well, I want to run again, and he gonna say I'm not leaving. That's what he said last time. And I'm then not he leaving. left. He well, left. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> but he's he trying left. not to leave. Oh man. He's he's just a clown show to me. Somebody gonna do something. Yeah. Eventually. He got all them folks radical, radicalized like on his side. It's gonna if, be a if, radical, if radical loses, on the other. If he, if he, because he's gonna be the Republican nominee. Because Nikki Haley lost in her own state the other day. So if he loses again, I don't know, man. God bless us all. 
As long as that motherfucker lower my income taxes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> as long as that motherfucker lower my income taxes, go. God damn it, I'm like, hey. Cause. Well, you know, he rewrote the tax code severely. I done made too much goddamn money. I don't come. I don't too, believe Trump. Did. I don't come too far and made too much goddamn money to have it all taken away from me, like it's being taken away. That's bullshit. Well, there, so there, somebody got to do something because, uh, yeah, this this ain't this shit ain't right. So they taking fifty, almost sixty percent of my income. Damn. And where they do that at? Yeah. What? That's Look, robbery. They just, might need to move to Mexico, man. Costa Rica. Yeah, hey, there we go. <laughs> hey. DR. Uh, yeah. Hey. Passport, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm, about to be, I'm about to become a passport, bro. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> uh, the shoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you think you going to buy them? <laughs> <laughs> hey, w- no. okay, let me they ask you. They look like some forces. <laughs> they do. <laughs> really? They look terrible, man. Oh, yeah, they they hold on, home team. Now, we, we almost had a sponsorship deal with Manscaped. Yeah. That didn't oh, work shit. out. Yeah. Uh, I sent to... He said they sent to the wrong address, but what if we we reached out and said, "Hey, we really we really we're willing to wear your shoes for sponsorship. Would you do it?" Hell no! <laughs> Why? I don't man. I'm not being affiliated with that. Bullshit. Trump. I understand. Everybody got a price. I just ain't <laughs> fucking with Trump like that. Really? I don't know. I, I thought you was a conservative at one time. I am still conservative. You just ain't fucking with Trump. You just ain't fucking with Trump. You don't, want, you don't want us to be here with four goals, pair of tennis shoes man, on? Man, I want some goals on my He feet. gave me his account, and I wear the motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, $350. Three yeah, that's great. $350? $399. Yeah. Oh, three ninety nine. What okay. the what? Oh, that's funny. Have you seen him? Yeah. Oh. I, I seen a glimpse. I didn't really, I didn't know what was going on in the picture I saw until I, you know, start hearing conversations afterwards, so I didn't get a good look at him, but I did see American flag on him. That's all the thing I saw. Go with American flag, baby, and that T in the middle. That's right. That's oh, right. yeah, I saw the no, T. No, that'd be crazy sponsorship. I might get a pair, of, you know, Trouble yeah. T-Roy, baby. Okay. Yeah, yeah change not, the same yeah. with the T me. Yeah, they're okay. going to be T-Roy. Uh, okay, all right. Air T-Roy. There's that. Yeah. All right. Uh, in Baton Rouge, there was, there's a family, the Fletchers. I like how you said it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There was an autistic girl. Uh, artistic? Artistic. Artistic. <laughs> okay, just check. <laughs> uh, she, 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 melted, she died and melted into the couch. What? Wait, what? Y'all didn't see this? No. no. Into check the couch. Out. She melted into the couch. Uh, she, 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 her dead corpse laid there for 12 years uh, while feces and maggots uh, were all over her body. Uh, her body embedded to the couch. Uh, to the couch. It looked like a cesspool. Uh, smelled like layers of human waste. Twelve years. Uh, Twelve yeah. years. It is human sunk waste. Sunk into the couch. Well, I mean, you know, it was yeah. in the house. You're in the house with the family there. The the the, the parents, uh, you know, regularly went to work every day. What did motherfuckers cut off their nose? <sighs> There's questions on how they dealt with this shit. Yeah, come on, dog. Them niggas wearing like them uh them uh. Environmental mask and shit every day when they come home because they know where in the world. Uh, these are the Fletchers. Bad rules. Sheila and Clay Fletcher. They both been indicted for murder. Black, white. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, there, there, there yeah. we go. Come there we go. Because yeah. that was the I'm next like, question. Because you said Fletchers, I'm like, hold on, that could be black now. Because yeah. now they're gonna make Louisiana, us all look bad. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, whenever you get a chance, uh, Google that story, man. Fletchers, Fletchers, Fletchers in Baton Rouge, man. Let their dead up, autistic man. daughter. Melt into the couch for the twelve DR. years. They probably gonna get the death penalty. Down. You think they're gonna sleep on that couch again? And that couch is evidence. Yeah, now they is they is gonna get locked. There's up pictures that. of it on the on the internet. That's nasty, man. Melt. Yeah, yeah melt don't sound right. <laughs> no, don't sound. Oh, the bones ain't gonna melt, so there's a pile of bones on that thing too. Yeah, yeah. Bones ain't gonna decompose. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up here. Come on. Go ahead. All right, is, is somebody <laughs> somebody passed away. It could be natural causes. Yeah. You got to report that? Yeah. yeah. You got to report that, hey, such and such passed away. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, we talked about stuff like this before. I think one dude, didn't we talk about that one dude? He buried his wife in the backyard. I do recall that. Yeah. Yeah. You can't do that. So It's soon, like a death certificate. You got to have this. You got to have it. As soon as you're born... And you accept that social security number, you become property of the United States mm-hmm. of America. And 
thus far, everything you do the rest of your life is reported to them. Yeah. Your income, um, various different things, jobs. But when you when you die, you get a death certificate just like you get a birth certificate. All right. So how is it that the school never, whatever school? No, no, she was an adult. She was an adult. Yeah. Okay. The, 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 the daughter of these 50-something-year-old people were, she's an adult. She was an adult. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she was autistic, so she you know, probably didn't communicate or have any friends or thing like that. I was just thinking if she was a school-age kid, then the school at some point is going right, to be held right, responsible yeah. because oh, yeah. Yeah. they, they never went and checked up on her. Right. Especially if she was. Oh, God damn. You going to put somebody else in this shit? Oh, hey. check. Yes. But it's Louisiana. You know, so. <laughs> did nobody they, never go to their house? Nobody, apparently. They probably didn't have any friends. They said they were still going to church and everything. Them clothes like, had to be funky. Man, them clothes had to stink, though. Yeah, that clothes had to be funky. Yeah. At some point, somebody going to be like, hey, how's your daughter? What, what are you doing? Well, if they stinking, nobody want to talk to them. Oh, <laughs> you know? That's some weird ass Fletchers over there. Yeah, the funky Fletchers. <laughs> <laughs> the funky Fletchers. All right, uh, this is the Shoot from the Hip Show. Uh, we back in the house. Uh, we're going to take another break. Uh, we got voicemails and we got some fuckery. And uh, we we'll, we talked about something that they say was show worthy. Okay. And we'll get back into that. All right. All that and more when we come back for this break. It's the Shoot from the Hip Show. I had a butt plug and I had like multiple sizes and I thought I got one big enough and he had put it in my booty hole. He's hitting it from the back and I was like, it does, I think you need to not be hitting it from the back like this. Like I should be riding or I should reverse cowgirl because it's going to, I feel like it's going to go deeper. He's like, up, oh. and the, I was like, oh my gosh, where did it go? Uh -oh. It was lodged in the hallways of my booty hole. I almost had, we almost <laughs> had to go to the emergency room and I was crying. He was like, oh shit, I'm bent over, face down, ass up. He's digging in my ass, trying to get it out. I'm pushing. I'm like, the fuck farting. We were pushing. There's gas. <laughs> we're trying to get it out. And then I was like, oh my gosh, we got to go to the hospital. I was crying. I went to the bathroom and then we just tried one more good time and, and got it out. It was I, I'm done with butt plug. I had a butt plug and I had like Beat juice. Bang. Hey man, what? Where you get that from? <laughs> the internet. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> These motherfuckers out here, boy. It's yeah. the algorithm, there, boy. Mm -hmm. uh, let me unask this Bluetooth uh, yeah, real man. quick. Uh, welcome back to the Shoot from Here Show. Five five nine eight two five shot. Oh no, five five nine seven four six eight. That's five five nine. Wait, how the fuck that up? Go ahead. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah. yeah. Shut the left. Shut the left. You, you, yeah. You got else come. Eat the step too. Yeah. Anyway, y'all know the phone number. This is the Shoot from the Hip Show. Uh, Herb, we got breath. Yeah, we got breath. Not one, but many times tiny. All right. You ready? Not yet. Well, it's waiting on you. It's waiting on me. Yeah, man. Uh, keep yeah, keep keep calling in, man. We enjoy uh, listening to what y'all have to say. And uh, like like I said before, we talk back. But this one here come from the 904. And I know that to be Florida. And let's see what they got to say. Hold on. Hey, what's going on, brother? Cisco Grizzly, man. Uh, I was bad. Oh. Listen to the show. Uh, man, I remember them old school commercials, man. You know, 694-5570. That was old uh, Gallery Mac. And uh, somebody said it wrong. They said, uh, call Mr. Norman. No, 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 no. It was young yeah, Mr. Norman. Norman. <laughs> but uh, it was the other thing. Uh, damn, Corey called about something, man. I said I wanted to say something. Oh, yeah, about the uh, the, the rap and what we used to do back in the day. You know, it's different now because, you know, rap is, is uh, mainstream and it's all on TV. It's all on the internet. It's all on, uh, so, you know, back in the day we had some nasty shit going, but you really couldn't tell what everybody else was doing in Miami. You can tell what they were doing in New York. You could tell what they were doing in, you know, California. But now, everybody's trying to get they, they, uh, they shit on, on scene. You know, so it's, it's different, man. You know, we was raised up in the era where we was localized. We love what we did localized. We had starch pants, man. Hey, pants stand up by themselves. And we did that because that was localized. Nobody in New York really knew what we were doing unless they came down there and saw us and then went back up there and told somebody. 
But now everything is localized, man. Everybody's trying to make their lick on uh, social media. So, you know, it, it's a little different, man. We had it, you know, we were trying to do Houston things back in the day. But anyway, man, most of you stand up. Love y'all, boys. Talk to you later. All right, Gene, let's just go Grizzly in the house. Shout out to my, my dog right there. Yeah, your godson hit a home run. He went yeah, deep. Yeah, he went so yard. Pink. Left side of the plate. Took it out of there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, Grizzly, yeah, we went down. Uh, we do that. You know, we do nostalgia on this show. And uh, as far as that rap shit, we were talking about that. We'll end the show with that. Yeah. All right. Appreciate the call, big dog. Yeah, and big time. Shot big to time. Green. We got another one? Yeah, we got another one. All right. This one comes from the 478. And we'll see what they got to say. Hold on. We know who that is? Yeah. What's the deal? Still trip. Still trip. Just calling in live and direct from Middle Georgia, checking in. Uh, first time calling this year. Uh, at the end of the Black History Month. Seemed a little weak. I haven't seen anything really been talked about or posted or celebrated. But uh, just want to leave a, a quick comment, man. Uh, I had to yoke up my oldest, man. Uh, Got a little out of line. Mm. I had to show him that I was nothing to play with. Oh, I just remember uh, when I was about his age that I went through the same phase, and I didn't know if y'all had a story where uh, one of your elders or, your, or father figures or, or dad had to step in and show you still ain't a man yet. Mm, but other than that, that's it. Real short and sweet. Uh, y'all be safe and be easy. I'm out. Shit, that was Black History. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, right there, right there. Shout out to Steel Trill, man. Sometimes you gotta get in there and grab you, grab your son, man. Yeah, start smelling himself. You uh, did you and your old man ever had that? Never. Really? I was scared of my parents. I had a healthy fear of my parents, mm. so I, I didn't fuck up. I didn't fuck up in school, and I didn't fuck up in front of them. Now, if I got out in the neighborhood somewhere, I might do something. Mm. But, but that then somebody sending it back home with you. Well, you know. Before you get back, and then came back home with yeah. Well, I I didn't I never did nothing <laughs> crazy to try to ch- ch- check my old man and nothing like that. I didn't play that game. My parents had me young, so he he could still go. Okay, How about you. Shit, by the time I thought I stuck, it was me and my mom going. What's the height? It. What's the height and weight differential? Oh man. shit, I'm my old man probably five nine. Okay, I'm six foot, and I'm three hundred. He probably one. Nah, you probably 200. Oh. So, but it was just still. I know by the 11th grade, you thought you can get him. Oh, I thought I'd get him because I was still playing football. <laughs> shit. I was lifting every day. I was 225. Damn. I thought I could get him. But yeah, I never tested him on that shit yeah. because yeah, I just respected my parents. And uh, by the time I thought I was grown, he told me I only it's only one grown man living in this house. Yeah. And I moved two weeks later. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Troy? Shit. I left home at 13. I was raised by the street, so I challenged every motherfucker out there. Okay. Well, that's different. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, that's some Cat Williams I, I, shit. I didn't, uh, I didn't grow a mold man in my house. Uh, but, you know... I didn't have to respect him, and I never did. Oh, I know. And, uh, you know, love him. He's not here with us no more, but he ain't earned that. So, yeah. Simple yeah. as that. Now, Flurry on decided to go live with him. Oh, yeah? Oh, nigga, this is crazy. So my brother said, you know, of all my seven kids, I'm going to go live with him. Shit. Of oh, his seven kids, I'm going to go live with him. I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess Flo Leon wasn't used to rules, and which is bad. But on the other hand, it's kind of hard for. Well, he's still a man, so he's gonna force his own rules. But at the same time, we have so much resentment towards him that it's like, "Fuck you, gonna tell us, yeah, nigga." Now the nigga was big though. <laughs> that nigga was he did like fifteen years in prison, so he he was he's big. He's he about six one, about two forty, you know, linebacker size. And uh, I guess him and Flurleon, my brother, they got into it. Uh, <laughs> my aunt called me. So in, in my grandmother's house, some kind of way they wanted to go into my grandmother's house, which my aunt stayed in. And there were some swords on the wall. 
Flo Leon grabbed the sword. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> so my aunt was like, you know, shit. His name was Terrell. He went and grabbed that sword, but he don't understand. Bobby Joe's still a man, a big man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, they had a little, little uh, uh, tussle. That didn't go over well. He put, that, so. he put that cell block on him. Yeah. <laughs> like a baby boy. Yeah, he put that cell Remember yeah. baby boy? Yeah. Yeah, dog. Shit. What, this nigga thought he was Zorro or something right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he thought he was going to do. Yeah. He, he was being, uh, what do you call it? If he was improvising. Yeah. But yeah. one, if there's some scores on any nigga wall, you know they ain't sharp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You might not even grab. You might go to the yeah. kitchen drawer and grab something. Oh. Uh, Give it back to me. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so that happened. Uh, appreciate you, uh, Steel Trill. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. that was pretty good. Uh, we got some niggas in here who was very obedient, sound like. Yeah. yeah, I didn't fuck around like that. That is dope. You see that pen? Yeah. With a gun? Yeah, you like that, huh? Oh, that's dope. Only a nigga shit. I feel to say, as much as you against nigga shit, yeah. I am. <laughs> that's dope for you. That's dope. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big game over. You know what? Uh, I was listening to Big X the Plug. And some, I, I think him and Ye, uh, he got hey. a song together. And uh, it popped up on my YouTube music. It wasn't bad. All right, man. I see you digging TX the Plug, man. All right. So uh, let's go here. Uh, Club Shay Shay, uh, one of the most popular uh, now, 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 come on, Reese. podcasts, come uh, on, interview Reese. platforms. Why watch him out? Going down. <laughs> uh, now, we talked about the cat. We were on the last one, did we? Yeah. Okay, we talked about the cat when we were in now everybody's trying to go over there. So everybody trying to do it. Uh, Monique made her way there. I'm gonna have to go get the portable. God damn it! I thought I saw it in here. You did? Oh, I thought I did. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think it's that black one. Uh. So Monique made her way on the uh, club Shay Shay, and she announced she's going on tour with Cat Williams. Uh, and she also regurgitated the stories that she's been talking about for a while. Uh, well, she brought D.L. Hooley up again. And D.L. Hooley had and something he to say. He doesn't, take it, he doesn't take it lightly. Yeah, so he had something to say. And uh, it went like this. All right, I, I, I'm taking time to respond to Monique again. She made another greasy-ass video with her daddy. Um, we kind of relitigating some of the stuff she said on Club Shay Shay where she talked about how she was on the show and Somebody, you know, they played a game, would you rather? And I guess she felt like they insulted her husband's sexuality, which is interesting because she can always talk shit about everybody else's sexuality. But I guess her husband's sacrosanct, he's off limit. But a hit dog will bark unless his mouth is full. But she talked about, well, she didn't actually call her lawyer. Who the fuck would be afraid of your lawyer? Your lawyer, you mean the lawyer that did your contract? The law, that lawyer, the lawyer from the firm of Negro, Negro, Negro from Ghetto, Got him and Gone, that lawyer? Who the fuck afraid of him? He couldn't get your name right on a ticket. He gonna get it right on a, on a legal document. It didn't happen because we decided it shouldn't happen. We didn't. You didn't need to because we respect people. We don't have to do things for t- for, for clicks. They took it off because you asked me to because I respected you at the time. You also talked about how I um, disrespect you on so many platforms, uh, but you have yet you have this impeccable memory where you can tell to the degree well who did what to you and why and what happened where you were but you can't pull up one time on any platform that i said anything about you at all because you know you're lying you got that piece of paper and that big ass memory but you can't pull one up my biggest mistake is saying yes to you i should have said no when you came on my you couldn't come on my radio show i should have said no that i wasn't playing those dates with you as a matter of fact i almost anybody who says yes to you at some point is 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 in this milieu with you almost anybody so i would suggest anybody out there you can say yes to drugs but say no to monique <laughs> you talked about how um you, you, my children families are off living they weren't when you were running across vegas i mean on the stage in detroit they weren't when you talking shit on social media when you got your ass whipped and your tickets dropped then they became off limits but let's do this. Let's decide that you will treat my children like you treat yours, like you don't know them, invisible, like mm-hmm. you have no relationship with them, Dang. like you're estranged, you're, like you're unfamiliar, like you don't know them. You also intimated that I was a coward. You know what I'd never do? I would never let my woman take care of me. I would never let my woman get evicted from her apartment. I would never let my woman have to ask another man for money. I'd never do that. Can your old man say the same? 
He loves you. Of course, he got to say that. You claim him on your taxes. Damn. He's a dependent. He's sitting there with you right now. Uh-huh and everything. Because it ain't like he does anything else. But you never address the salient point. I said that if you spent as much time writing your Netflix special as you did arguing about getting it, it wouldn't have been trash. It was. I didn't say it. I defy anybody out there. Stop listening to me. Watch it. Read the reviews. Read the reviews. You beg for something. You made valid points that women are underpaid, that they're not valued. That's absolutely right. So you would think that when you got a chance to do something that you would argue for, you'd be up for the challenge, but you shit the bed because you never are ready for it because all you ever do is complain about what you don't have. You're never ready for the moment because you're always living in the past. I said it. You, if you spend half of your time doing, as opposed to talking about who didn't do for you and what they did for you, you'd be a lot further along. You wouldn't be evicted. You wouldn't be working for your man. You wouldn't be asking other comics for money. Damn. So you got all the ingredients. Take that piece of paper that you're running down the list with and that pen that you got and that daddy sits next to you, that daddy sitting next to you and do what you can't do, do what you never do. Write a fucking joke. Hey. Damn. That was scathing, wasn't it? <laughs> that was rough. I kind of enjoyed it. I know. Is it really long? Yeah, I know. know. It's all good. You had to get all of that. <laughs> Sounds like he was a little emotional. Hey, that, that's, that's bruh. Oh, God damn it. That's bruh. That ain't bruh. <laughs> what you mean? He be bruh next time you're in the neighborhood. He be bruh with the rest of the bruhs. Yeah. I ain't gonna fuck around right now. You don't fuck around. He go to Shine House, you ain't going. <laughs> no. Why? Why would I? I mean, shit. I go, it's just, just like we're going to Shine House. Smoke some stogies and talk some shit. Okay, so, so I what, got the fire lounge for you. Don't, you don't fuck with old DL, huh? No, I mean, it just sounds like bullshit. You mm-hmm. know, you're coming off emotional. When people come off emotional, it's because. Like he said, a head dog would bark unless they got a mouth full of shit. Mm. He the one barking. She just told the story. She wasn't cussing and 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 wasn't upset, wasn't loud about it, wasn't vitriol about it. So when when people respond in ways like that, you got to re- pay attention how people respond to things. He responded with vitriol because it, she struck a nerve. She struck a nerve. Of, if a nerve is struck, something was true that was that was said. Well, they 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 story kind of old. Now I, I did see her go up on stage and fire him up, and it was emotional and ugly. Yeah, when she did that in Detroit, and I, I feel like that's he's still that's responding, he's responding to that. To that. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, man, I've never been a fan of hers. I'm not a fan of either of the niggas. I ain't a fan of nobody. God just, damn. You don't fuck with me? Man, you tough, bro. I ain't just, I ain't no fan type nigga. I mean, I mean you're not a fan, but you appreciate the work. I appreciate work. I'm just not going to okay. be paying to go watch a nigga. You ain't going to go watch comedian? You got damn right, I'm not. God damn, not damn. You ain't going to go watch comedian. I'm not paying to see nah, nigga do nothing. Damn. That's going to be another show right there. <laughs> it's got to be. It's got to be. I ain't paying to see nobody God do damn. a motherfucking thing. Well, sometimes you just go on a date or you hanging with the fellas. What about that? Hey, shit, that's that's all I need. Okay, that's all I'm I need. saying. Sometimes, what if the fellas we want to go get a table for four and clown for my birthday? Yeah, and yeah, watch DL yeah. Hewley. Take some video. <laughs> <laughs> Take some video. I ain't paying to see that nigga do nothing. Oh, but man. If, you know, I mean, you know, in a situation like that, you know, I, I might. It ain't because I'm doing the fan thing because I'm doing the fellowship thing. So. Okay, well, fellowshipping mm-hmm. is a thing. Yeah. And that's what we do. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, he roasted uh, her husband, which she called Daddy. Yeah. She, she also Daddy? announced she was going on tour with Cat Williams, which yeah. is, they going to they gonna fuck that up. Yeah, they going to fuck that up? Oh, God. You don't think, you don't think it's, gonna it's fuck good? That they up. both going to fuck it up. Oh. He going to relapse. <laughs> oh. ain't did no drugs, and then man. and Zaddy gonna be in the background Zaddy. giving orders to Monique like, oh, this this ain't the one right here. Yeah, See, her husband is the bros. He is. Yeah, so I mean, just unwritten rules. There's certain shit you don't do. What you mean? Oh, for for Diaz? 
Yeah, it's just certain shit you don't do. You don't fire at no bro's wife. Really? And that bro come up and bust your shit. Yeah. Then you gonna everybody gonna say he wrong. So that's then, that's that's in the uh, what do you call that? Not the handbook, but the the. the there's unwritten rules. There's unwritten rules. Bullshit. <laughs> unwritten rules. Yeah, well, keep your bitch in check. Oh, keep yeah. keep her in check. Uh-oh. She shouldn't be that, fired that at me. That's that's the pimping part of it. That, the, the, she fired. If if you the bruh, and your wife sitting there firing shots at me, you should have been, hey babe, that don't do that to him. But he, he you you could do he that to some he other de- people. He a dependent though. He can't really yeah, you, right. He's not so, head of household. Oh well, if he he's ain't a, head of household, you better not shut your motherfucking taxes. mouth. He's her manager. How is he hey, a dependent? He, okay, well she's the he's, talent. He's an independent contractor. But my thing is, I don't think she shot at D Hill. She was just telling the nah, story. She's going at her. Oh, she been I don't going know about I don't know about prior to the DL or prior to uh, Club Shay Shay. Yeah, they, they, on they Club Shay Shay before Club Shay Shay. Yeah, so I don't. Before. I don't have. Nine. Remember, there was a there's a uh, they went back and forth about who was going to be the headliner. Yeah. Headliner, right? Contract shit and mm-hmm. all that, right? Man, these comedians coming out at each other, man. They set twenty twenty four off, didn't they? Oh, they fire. tripping, man. And you, the thing about it, y'all supposed to be comedians. Y'all not supposed to take shit personal. And act out like that, and that's all they doing. Now you know I would have paid. I would have been a fan of some shit like when Cat and and that other nigga uh, Steve Harvey. Yeah. When they was in concert in Detroit mm-hmm, together, yeah. and they were supposed to be going to battle. Them, you know, yeah. uh-huh. I would pay for some shit like that. Oh, okay. I would, yeah, I would go see some shit like that. Yeah, that was, that was see, a contest right there, and he didn't even show up. Steve. Yeah. Steven show I up. wouldn't show him either. He he, he's bigger than Cat <laughs> Williams. <laughs> Not then. No, yeah. he is. He's always been. He's always been. He's oh. always been. He a legend. He a king of comedy. Yeah, but uh, hmm. did he get that booty hole up? I, we don't know that. I would Shit. say no. I'm going to say no. I, it, it, somebody could call you gay. I'm not going to ride with that until I see it or know for myself. So, I mean, he can say what he want. The nigga ain't that funny. He ain't that talented. <laughs> and the nigga, and the nigga, you don't think Family Feud is good? The nigga ain't no Pat Sajak. <laughs> Dude, he revitalized no that Pat shit, turned that shit into nah, a thing. Nah, hey, I watched Family, Family Feud, Feud because of him. That's a long. That's like, that's like Beyonce going into country music. All the backlash. It is. He never, didn't get no backlash. There's no going game in. show right now. That's old school white shit. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's see. Game shows was a big deal back then. Old school white shit. No, it, that's fine. But we all watched it. Right. When Steve took over Family Feud, that was on a ho- Nobody's never done that. So when they let and a nigga. Cat can't do it. So when they let a nigga in it Cat instead of a white dude in it. cannot host a game show. What did he do to get in it? It wasn't on I talent. Mean, we don't know. I mean. It wasn't on talent. I mean, you can't you can't have a, a job interview and, and, nah. and, over, uh, and, and overwhelm some gonna people. Be, you're not going to get considered. How can so you say everybody got to do it. Listen, back no then, talent. look. Eddie Murphy broke in the door. Everybody breaks in the door. Eddie Murphy's a whole different level of Steve Harvey. You can't even. But you say I it's don't not know about that. When, like, I don't know. I, I, you, you, Nick Cannon we can't, has. We can't say that. I don't know. Multiple shows. I think they might be talent. equal. If not, Steve might be greater. Now, Steve, 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 haven't done the movies that Eddie Murphy has done. But no, no, no. We, we. No, hold on. Let's be clear. We lost Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy was. He 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 left black people. Steve Harvey never left black people. Uh, D- doing what? We still he he still fucks with black folk. Eddie what, Murphy don't fuck with black folk. Fuck with black or fuck over black? Because all I'm hearing no. about him fucking over black. Uh, Steve Harvey. That's yeah. all I hear. I mean, about. He, I, I I can't say that. But what I'll say is, Steve Harvey is more of black culture than Eddie Murphy is. And, and I can't put one apart. Now the movies, no question. But we talking about comedy. And and and, and, and I, I don't want to hear nobody say about delirious and, and uh what's the other one? raw? I don't think they was that great. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I mean you can't tell me they're that great. I don't Ross. know. That shit was the same. Hey, them things is legendary, dog. Yeah, raw was Come on, them things yeah. legendary. Raw man. was Dude, legendary. The movies are awesome. Even you, white comedians be like that. You Murphy. can't, you can't oh, put Murphy. Steve I, I, Harvey bragged about Crossing over into the white. It's fan. not about bragging about crossing the crossover. over to the white. It's about I'm global now. I'm a global icon but, now. But he's saying his skill set is good enough that he could cross over. It, he he has. ain't never crossed over like Eddie. 
He, he, he's not the he movie don't guy. Have that skill set. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. There's different com- comedy. There's movie and there's on stage. That, no, that, I'm talking about Eddie Murphy was raw. So you okay? On stage. Well, I mean, I mean, you. It's also acting because a lot of times with comedians, uh, they they have a group of writers along with them. I mean, we could say Eddie Murphy had better writers than Steve. I tell you this, we can go look it up because right now I'm speculating. But I would speculate that Raw and Delirious both Eddie Murphy pay per view on his own drew more ticket sales views than Kings of Comedy with multiple niggas surrounding Steve Harvey. I don't know about that. But we have to I go. I think I'd go with that. I don't know about that. We had to. Kings of Comedy hit the movie theaters. Uh, no. Nope. Nah, I, I, I mean, it may, may be true. I'm just saying, I, the, my, my whole point is, I'm not finna discredit Steve and, and say he's not this and he's I'm not that. I'm gonna discredit that and, motherfucker. And he, and he has And the, I'm the bros, and I don't like this shit. I mean, we and all entire time Roy on the pain, but I fuck with Steve Harvey. I, I fuck with his TV show. Man. I fuck with his comedy. I fuck with his game show. Cat said he the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper. Steve Harvey is not the gatekeeper. He the gatekeeper. Steve Harvey? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Over everybody? Absolutely. Kevin Hart. Everybody in the comedy arena, yes. Okay, there's gay people everywhere. Harvey Weinstein was a gay people. Who? Harvey uh, Weinstein. Weinstein. No, 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 no. So they. What I'm saying, a, there's a gay they, keeper a, in a lot of in yeah, a lot of places. But no, they the whites, the the, the, okay, the Harvey fu- Weinstein, but, they designate a uh, few but, but they, they didn't fuck with Cat though. A lot of people don't fuck with Cat. He's no, a drug addict. And he, no, Cat. Cat could have been there. No, he cannot. He, if Cat would have put on a dress, if Cat would have <laughs> opened up the booty hole. Cat would have been in the same situation. Be no we we don't know that nobody gave up no ass. So no, that's 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 a, that's easy to say. Even you can though, always say, "Oh, he gave up the ass." That's why. No, we have his always, hard work got him there. We have always said, not just because Cat came on and 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 hey, and, and disclosed that we, like Cat was we out here dropping gems. We have always said, "What have a black man done to get to that situation?" Because they nope. just ain't letting black men in now. Oh, well, you got to do something. You got to sell the fuck insult, out. That's an insult to. His accomplish his accomplishments and his hard work. I'm a I'm a insult it. Yeah, hey, it's an insult. <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm not riding with Cat. I don't with like that nigga. That's nigga. obvious. See, dog. so you don't like him. I don't like the nigga and at I, all. Okay, this, well, he the only nigga that walk on stage and talking about my ex wife. It wasn't for her. I wouldn't be where I'm at. But goddamn, how many of these bitches? I, mean, I wish one. Yeah, which one, yeah. nigga? Every one of them. Yeah, I mean, hey, they hit different. He was sorry, they hit ass, different. He, he was sorry ass nigga, dog. He was sorry ass nigga, and he always pander, pussy pander. Well, I tell you what, and now he white people pander. I don't think he's white people pander. He ain't Cat Williams ain't better than Steve Harvey, huh? Yes, he is. What? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Come on, dog. <laughs> what? You, Cat you been shitting on Cat for about twenty minutes now. Cat Williams. You shitting the, the on Cat. The thing that's killing me is nobody was talking about Cat Williams. Nobody brought Cat Williams up. Nobody never called him number one. Cat Williams got no TV show. It ain't got shit to do with him. Not because he won't it play don't the have game. No, no, no. He won't play the game. No, if you're good, you're good. It don't have nothing to do with him. Uh, not wearing a dress. If you're that white, it's low hanging fruit. When you're not, white, no, if you're no, good, no, you're good. no, no. If you're black, Hell, if you're good, no. you still Cat got Cat Williams, it. the drug addict, that is a a, a fake pimp. He's still That's touring. It. He's still selling our shows <laughs> yeah, all over man, the country. Nobody fuck. Oh, okay. yeah, yes, he is. Yeah, you went to a Cat Williams show before, right? Yeah, not one, but many times. And he showed up every show. Yeah, no, somebody went. And he didn't show. No, okay. no. Cat finances his own shit, so he gonna show up. Yeah, man. Cat Williams is a drug addict, and nobody <laughs> fucks with Cat Williams. I've never heard when anybody have you talk ever about seen me with drugs. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, but when? Can, when? Come on, man. But Listen, when? Nobody. And, and, and that's Somebody part that that, have that, that is part drugs. of black folks' problem. Oh, or anybody mean, on top. We want to see him come you down. Die on this hill, ain't you? you got damn right. Damn. Any nigga that's on top, we want to bring him down. Every black person that's on top, you you have motherfuckers interviewing them, putting them on platform, or you have random people having conversations about, oh, they sold lot, or oh, they ain't rich. We want him to be down here with us. You sound surprised. Nah, nah. It's I mean, that, like that, that that, since, that's just how it is. It's been like that since the Nina, Maria, and the Santa. Maria. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Nina Pinta Santa Maria has been yeah. like that since then. Yeah, since the Mayflower. Yeah. All of that. Yeah. But that that is what we do. Oh, we loved it. Oh, nigga. The great Steve Harvey one of the 
one of the top comedians of all time. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. One of the top comedians of all time. No, we no. had some fucking drug mm-mm. addict reject <laughs> go on a podcast. <laughs> and oh, oh, that's the greatest you thing. You Cat, dog. No, I'm just saying that. But th- that is hey, what black people you like. You ain't never seen Cat do no drug. I'm not in his presence, but we he know. He smoke weed. No, no, for, no, 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 no. For medicinal no. purposes. I'm going to tell you, tell you uh, uh, what, uh, what's our boy from Mad <laughs> TV said? Aerie Spears. Aerie Spears. He made a comment about uh, Kevin Hart uh, stealing jokes. Okay. And he, he was kind of saying, but he, at the end of the thing, he said, niggas know. So, in comedy world, niggas know. Cat Williams is a drug addict. Well, niggas know. Niggas know. Niggas know. All right. Where's the five, five, nine, eight, two, five, seven, no four, six, say five, five, nine, eight, two, five. <laughs> shot. Uh, shot. Cat Williams be talking about... Uh, Mike Epps and Mace, the more popular Shay Shay has gotten because in black, that's what we'd like to do. We tear the next motherfucker down. So now uh, Shannon Sharp is on everybody's radar. We yeah, got to get him yeah. up out of here. They tearing him down. Yeah, we got to get him up out of here. That's what niggas do. Uh, Mike Epps, he wanted to be on Club Shay Shay. Mm. You know why? Because she's popular now. So him got mad. He, you know, I guess they kind of went back for him. Shay Shay was like, no, nigga, no, he can't be on this bitch. Cat, uh, Mike Epps got mad, and so he uh, he he made his Instagram video. He also called him gay. You know, uh, typical. It's easy, mm. man. I'm is questioning. It? I'm questioning well, the time. Nigga told of the you his name is Shake Shake. Hey, so <laughs> hey, everybody that that's been in, into some shit with Shannon has a special that came out or was on the way to coming out, and they got dates that they're trying to sell. All of them, whether it's they beefing with him yeah. or they only there to do an interview. Because they know they're going to get the views. Yeah, come on, man. This shit, this shit ain't even real. No? No. It ain't. What Cat did was get him other niggas some money. He brought their name up. Now nah, niggas got to go possible. see. That might be possible. Man, Cat threw everybody a bone that he named. It's true. <laughs> even if he was shitting on him, he threw him a bone. Ludacris made some extra money with that little yeah, bullshit ass see? freestyle he did. Yeah. yeah. Ain't nobody heard nothing from... Uh, I ain't heard nothing from Little Lula. since Four Fast and Furious 10. Yeah. Mike Epps just dropped a special on Netflix. Yeah, we Boom. saw it. Yeah, see? Wow, but that, that came out right after the shit with Shannon. Yeah. Come on, man. Monique on the dev tour with Cat after all this shit? Yeah. Man, he paid them. He got them paid. And Ricky Smiley won't cry every time he got on the goddamn yeah. uh, air. Hold on. Is he bruh? Yeah, yeah he's a bruh. God damn. You're cute. I think he's out here taking L, dog. You got to stop this shit, dog. Shit. <laughs> Niggas out here crying. And yeah, shit. nah. I, I, fuck, I, I fuck with uh your boy. I fuck with uh Steve Harvey. I fuck with Ricky Smiley. I can tell. Yeah, I mean I do. Yeah, you you went on. I mean, the tire, no, no. Well, here's the deal. Can't nobody tell me nothing about you. Can't nobody tell me nothing about you. Can't nobody tell me nothing about you. Because right. if I fuck with y'all, fuck with you. That's just right. the way it is. So well, we can tell I, you about Cat. They on drugs. He's on drugs. <laughs> so I roll. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I ride, I ride with Ricky Smiley, and I'm feeling some kind of way about him because uh, when my when my daughter died, mm-hmm. I reached out to him on Facebook, on the radio show, on all the mediums that he had. The nigga didn't respond one time. The nigga always, mm-hmm. and I let him know I was the bros. Okay, you know I wasn't looking for nothing, wasn't asking for nothing other than him to to mention my daughter and what happened and give them the link to the go fund me to go fund me. Yeah. Nigga didn't respond one time whatsoever. But then two months later when his son died, mm. you know, he wants to publicize that shit like, like Kennedy or some shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I'm feeling some kind of way about that shit. You yeah. know? Okay. So how you turn your back on the bros and you always talking to the bros shit. You know mm. what I'm saying? So that's what makes shit. I can't speak on that. Why not? That's just that's just being a solid dude. Period. It is. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. You're a solid ass dude. You always talking about you trying to help people. Yeah. Well, I'm reaching out to a source of motherfucker always trying to say they trying to help. I think his community. daughter was shot in Houston too. His daughter was shot here in Houston. Yeah. 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 So that ain't even watch his kids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was well, his daughter. That was just some random ass bullshit. Random act of violence. She was at a stoplight. Really? And some people in the cars drove up and they was, I don't know if they were shooting at another car, or, but the, the bullets crossfire caught her in her car. Damn. 
But you know, you out two, three, four in the morning. That's the type of shit to go down that shit around. Goes on time. right around there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially in the third. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh moving along here. Uh, we got to get somebody. Well, what did we used to do? If somebody died. I don't know what we used to do. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we just say something. Well, Carl Weathers got his wing. <laughs> Uh, known to many as Apollo Creed from Rocky, yes. yeah. played Rocky's opponent. Uh, he's an actor, former football player. He passed away at the age of seventy-six years old. Uh, he also played in Predator and Happy Gilmore. Uh, they called him the nineteen eighty strong man. Uh, he also uh, played the played in the Heat of the Night. He took that as an opportunity to tackle social issues. Mm-hmm. He was most recently seen on The Mandalorian. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. right. Never watched that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was 86? 76. 76. He's a good looking 76 yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. Or Hollywood. He held uh, it up. The man was put together. Yeah. Yeah. The man was put together. He held it up. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, Meg the Stadium released his. Uh, now, this is pissed off Meg. Uh, not Meg. It pissed off Nikki mm-hmm. because Meg mentioned Meg's Law, which she felt was targeted towards her husband mm-hmm. and her brother. Now, Meg in releasing the song his say a hit dog will holler. Well, Nikki's hollering. Yep. Um apparently this the, the beat started. Uh Nikki and Meg made a song then. But in the midst of that, Cardi and Meg have always been friends. Uh Nikki then came out, uh, told people that Meg tried to get her to drink while she was trying to get pregnant, or if she was pregnant, uh, she made a comment like, girl, just go to the clinic. Uh, so yeah. Nikki went on IG Live and she kind of dropped some of her bar from her Bigfoot. Yeah, it didn't work track. out well. It didn't work out well. No. Uh, now they saying the bars went to Meg's mom's grave site. I know there were bars that was that serious. I've heard the term. I mean, I'm assuming her mom was buried in Houston. Must be. Now she's over there in the gardens in Pearland. Really? I don't know where was she both buried. I don't know. Damn. They got bars in Pearland. Man, I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, they, uh, well, they do because yeah. my mom's buried over there. Barbs? But the barbs, the, barbs, the, 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 the Nikki, stands. Nikki fold. Oh. Man, all these rappers got, got some stands. Yeah. Like Beyonce got her hive and yeah. all this shit. They do dumb shit on, standing on business. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. anyway, uh, Nikki continues to take shots at Rock Nation and Beyonce as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Nikki Minaj is just a uh, bad person. I think she's mad at the world. Uh, I don't know how she continues to uh, evolve in the music industry. She better than Cat Williams? Yes, statistically, yes. <laughs> oh, here, here, here. oh, man. Listen, uh, well, as a female rapper, they call her like the, the GOAT. No, I never heard that. Go. You never heard Nicki Minaj be throat called the queen? Shit, <laughs> <laughs> throat GOAT. I'm going to tell you, you why. Never, I, 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 I heard her be the, the leading female artist. She's supposed but, to be the queen. I I don't, not I that I agree. I'm I just telling you what, what, what they say. Stands. No. No? I don't, I personally can't stand I her think, I, I her think Lil' Kim irritated. holds it over her. I think all the motherfuckers are the GOAT. The GOAT of destroying fucking black culture. Well, black society. Because. Right now? That's yeah, what that's. looking bad, boy. Whoever owns and controls the music, and I ain't going to pinpoint no Jewish, particular white group. People. Whoever owns that shit is pinpointing the most ignorant, dumbest Lack of intelligent motherfuckers get out there and influence the whole fucking society, and that's what's going on. Sexy okay. Red heard them had that baby, didn't she? Who? Sexy Red. Well, hold, hold well, on. Was she hold pregnant on. last month? She it, it dropped it. Hold, <laughs> hold on, let's, let's stay on tangent now. All right, the hiss and the Bigfoot song. Okay. Did you hear his? Yeah. What you think? I mean, she was snapping. What you think? I haven't heard it. Nigga, where you been? Yeah, shit, man. But have you heard the shit? You know I ain't heard that shit. You ain't watch the video? Man, I ain't gonna look at them bitches. <laughs> Why? You know Why I ain't gonna cut. You don't I think Meg look good? He ain't a fan of nigga. You don't, think not, Ma- you don't think Meg look good? I am not gonna give them no type of fucking credit on nothing. Because every time I click on some shit, them bitches get paid for it. What the fuck? I'm gonna get to make sure they I get mean, paid for it. Shit, I mean, shit. fuck you. Why would you buy anything then if that's the case? I am not fucking I mean, supporting <laughs> that bullshit. <laughs> Supporting the the the, the you got def- Jay's on right now. Supporting the defamation of black folk. Well, okay, so there's that. All sure, right, hold. Let, 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 okay, so okay. we'll leave you out of this. You heard his. You heard Bigfoot. What you think? Uh, uh, Megan won that. She won 
I think that the she won that. everybody agrees. And you haven't heard it. Have I you haven't listened heard to Bigfoot? It. I haven't heard either one of them. I didn't Told the bitch to get up on a good foot. Yeah, she, and she thought that was a bar. Oh, she must have fucking she fell out of she, she thought she killed oh, him. Back. Nigga, that shit was terrible. <laughs> was so that terrible. was a battle rap. Pretty well, much. yeah, they kind of they, they kind of traded off this they song. Tracks. I like battle rap. Well, okay then. I like battle. There rap. you go. Take it as that and go listen to the song. When you listen to it, <laughs> five five nine eight two five seven four to say five five nine eight two five shot. shot. This right. motherfucker's gonna cancel me by the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said way worse. Who was that nigga y'all had on the show? I said there. way worse. I got more shit to say. Uh oh, here right. you go. So the other day we got to argument uh or a conversation, friendly conversation about what was more detrimental to black people. Whether the females in this thought hop or oh, whether the guys in the gangster rap. <laughs> females in the thought hop according to Candace Owens. Really? Yeah. What you think? I think it's the same thing. Females? Yeah. What you think, home team? No, no. When uh when NWA like special ed said, yeah. When when they got when they blew up off that shit and everybody started chasing that style, niggas start fucking up. Yeah. I watched it happen. Yeah. What you think? I I, I, I I vaguely remember what we said. I think you were on the, saying the females, but I said the females, but I'm saying they're equally affecting neg- negatively affecting the black society. But so we don't want no scrubs, you know th- that type of shit that start coming out. The feminist bullshit start coming out. You know, niggas didn't have it like that. So what niggas gonna do? To try to keep up, but they're gonna start. Doing stupid shit like selling drugs and trying to get that game, trying to mm-hmm. get that game up so they won't be no scrub, mm-hmm. you know. So it, I mean, it's it's like a chain reaction. It's like cause and effect, you know. Um, that niggas with attitude started. Yeah, they started. That. So you saying that? Okay, you you saying that men's behavior because they chasing women? A large part. Yeah, a okay. large part. Niggas look fly to get the women. But okay. you got some okay. out of cars. Okay. Out. okay. Before NWA. Yeah. Okay. It was black medallions and fists and that. Yeah. Unity and shit. Mm-hmm. Well, so I, it yeah. took a turn when niggas was chasing pussy. Oh, niggas was always chasing pussy. Right. So the music, that 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 don't. But, See, so my argument was I felt like the men's shit was worse. I don't, I don't consider, because women really don't consume that music like that. They really don't. Women are not buying albums. Women don't have YouTube music. They don't have Apple music. They do, but they kind of play whatever they hear in the club. They they're not they're not fans of the art, and they're not critical of music like men are. No, they don't they don't rate bars. They don't give a fuck. They just want some shit they can shake their ass to. They've been raised by it though. Uh, not really. I don't think I so. I don't know. I don't know. How many I mean, you got a small you got a small percentage of hoes that's out here saying, "Oh, they're gonna live by that code." But for the most part. All the women that we kind of know, the women that are in these HBCUs, the women that go to college, these great women that we know that are accomplished, ain't really fucking with that. They'll listen to it at yeah, a party. No, 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 yes, no, no, are. no. Yes, the they shit are. that men do. No, hold on. The yes, shit that are. men do is get niggas locked up, niggas trying to be Mr. 17 5, niggas out here disrespecting women, niggas out here fucking disrespecting their baby mamas, niggas out here going to prison, niggas out here killing niggas. Niggas go to the club ready. I wish a nigga would because of the rap music that men are putting out. That that the, the shit that women listen to ain't making them go to jail. It's making them pop out a thousand babies. That's and going to jail. Go, oh, I'm gonna live That's off their child support. Too. That's their part. No, 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 no. Shit. No, no. So most of them dudes you talking about came from this household where this this thought ass modern minded feminist ass female came from. Right, but are, are, are we not? Are so we they not, raising these motherfuckers as dealing the drugs. No, I'm not putting that on women. I, Absolutely. I, 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 no. Absolutely. No, they no, got to take no. accountability. They can take accountability, but this is this is a man's work. But that's what they're giving society. Nah, they're see, giving you society. You got to be smarter than that. You got to be smarter than I that. I agree, but that's what they're giving society. But, I mean, the stats show <laughs> women ain't going to jail because of the music they listen to. No, their kids Men going. are going to prison because of the music they listen to. And they're the kids of. That woman. No. Uh uh-uh. uh. Men have to take responsibility. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody need to take responsibility. Home team. Thoughts. Oh, I just said it, man. I mean, even women, you know, doing thought shit, they do that because they want the attention of a an ignorant ass dude. Yeah. 
And so the big ass dudes, they getting some attention from the women. They get more ignorant. Yeah. So it, it starts to feed itself. It's a circle. Yeah. That shit that just need to go away completely in give totality. You an, give me an idea or give me an example. So you take a guy like me who really not flashy. Mm. I don't, I'm not looking for validation. So when I go out, fuck, let's throw prospect 24, 15, whatever the fuck that shit called. We go there. I'm dressed like this. Very plain, very simple. I'm just to smoke cigars, hang out with the guys. Ain't trying to really get no rhythm. Not going to get no rhythm. What? I'm not going to get no rhythm. But these other cats... Motherfuckers will roll up with their pants hanging off their ass, with the chains hanging down to their nuts, popping bottles, all that bullshit that look like money, when the rich nigga's sitting right here. But they ain't smart enough to even identify the shit because that's what rap music and the entertainment culture told them that's what money look like. Mm-hmm. Are you listening to yourself? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not for entertain what you just said. <laughs> that shit is the oh, truth, man. Going, man. No, I'm that not entertaining the, the shit you said. No. They, they gonna they gonna think he's square. Yeah, right. and they gonna go right to the more ignorant ass niggas over there, That's popping what? bottles on, on a Tuesday night at the sports bar. Watching T-Boo and shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tuesday that's, that's night at the sports bar, popping bottles. Dude, niggas know they ain't got no job. Attract the woman, man. Yes. That's what it is. This not the nigga. That, <laughs> we're not doing that. We are not doing that. Hey, hey, on the cool though, we run a little long. I gotta get the boy. Okay. All right. Hey, this is shoot from the hip show. Uh glad we had y'all uh, uh for part of this ride. Uh we had a good time, man. Yeah, hey, this was good. Yeah. Sure. But Absolutely. I ain't gotta edit this bitch and uh home team gotta go get the boy. Yeah. Yeah, the boy gotta get Yeah, he got school tomorrow. So anyway, school. all right. So uh he's Troy. This is Lyman. I'm D Reese, that's my choice. This is shoot from the hip show. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, videos and audio be out. So, this is the Shoot from the Hip Show. We'll holler at y'all next time. It was everything I said it was gonna be plus a little extra Chuck deuces out the roof, it's just something we do down in Texas We'll see you when we see you when we hope it's this episode And if you enjoyed the show, you can definitely let us know Just hit us up, 559-825-SHOT That's 559-825-7468 Or you can hit us up on the email if that's more your taste The shoot from the hip one at gmail.com And let us know your take Subscribe to the show on all platforms From Apple to Spotify or wherever else you call us live and hit us on the web and shoot from the hip that xyz now let's not sleep because this not free all support is greatly appreciated of course we like the kind of bow but if it jingle then it's great and if you got some love for us and some extra play duggets then please don't forget to hit that beautiful donate button i'm gone